Well, about 15,000 people are recovering tonight from the Austin Marathon and Half Marathon. The race is often emotional for the people who take part, but tonight, this woman who finished third showed incredible determination and grit. Only in the closing miles is Bobby better down, but she is going to make it. A little more than 50 yards from the finish line of the Austin Marathon, it was obvious Yvonne Negetic was in trouble. 20 feet. She is going to do it. The elite women's marathoner had been in the lead for most of the race, but somewhere between mile 23 and mile 26, her body gave out. For the last two kilometers, I don't remember. Finish line, I have no idea. But Ngetik kept going. Race volunteers brought out a wheelchair, but Ngetik wasn't having it. She was going to cross the finish line. And when she finally did, she still came in third with a time of three hours, four minutes. There she is, guys and gals, crossing that line. Her thoughts? Oh, God, thank you. I cross at that place, you know. And when race director John Conley finally caught up to Ngetik, another emotional moment. You ran the bravest race and crawled the bravest crawl I have ever seen in my life. Thank you. You have earned much honor. And as to why she didn't quit. Running always, you have to keep going, going. You need to die running, you know. Yeah, you got to keep running. The Austin Marathon decided to award Ingetek the same money she would have won if she had come in second. The winner, Cynthia Jarrup of Kenya, won the women's race in two hours, 54 minutes. And here's